I once had a lot of friends and dreams. Dude, you make $450 a second doing this. I don't think he realizes how much money that is. That's like $4 billion a year. You should have friends. You should have friends spinning on your D 24-7. What's up guys, welcome to Beggar Life 2. So many of you guys might remember that I made a few episodes on the first Beggar Life, and it really only be described as being janky and hilarious. And I probably could have continued with that as a series, but I really wanted to check out the sequel because it looks like a bigger, better version of that game. Like you can already see it in our beggar. We're not just sitting there on the side of the road next to our poop pot browning as we beg, and we're up and we're dancing. Sure, people are gonna give us money for this. We've also got a couple of cool kids watching us all of a sudden. I don't suppose one of you want to be recruited to be a beggar, do you? Because I'm building a bit of an empire here, and if China's any example, then the groundwork should be children. <laughs> How about you, little boy? This joyful moment is the first time. You're a little young for it to be your first time, aren't you? Maybe his English isn't great, okay? And that's perfectly fine. You don't need English good to be able to be a beggar. Okay, we'll just give you an empty soda cup and a frown and we'll work your way up to poop pot and disco. How about you, little lady? Oh, it's your first time's well. Are you guys having your first time together? Because you should really do that in the alleyway around the corner. Maybe they're adults and I'm just not really getting the picture, but they look like children. I can feel a warm. A warm what, okay? It's like I said, do it around the corner in private. There's a dumpster. I don't need to see this. You're going to scare away my customers. I know what some of you guys are thinking, okay? What customers? Nobody has walked past us yet, but I've already got $99, so the poop pot disco is working. <laughs> Trust me, we know what we're doing. What a good day to beg, right? Everything is coming up Millhouse. We need to work on the Empire. I'm thinking we're going to want to hire ourselves a part-timer. Like a jobless person? Well, guess what? Now you've got a job. Can I hire you? Why can't I hire you? Oh, he cost $10,000. What? Well, every time I beg, somebody gives me $11, so we're definitely making money, but what kind of tracksuit-wearing unemployed bum needs $10,000 to go out on the side of the road and like, do the thumb trick for money? I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> It's completely ridiculous. We can upgrade our own begging abilities though, right? No, that costs a thousand dollars. Oh my God, why is everything so expensive in this city? No wonder the jobless rate is through the roof. <laughs> Here, we're gonna get a thousand dollars. We're gonna improve our beg ability. And now we get $12 every time we beg. That does not seem worth it. Luckily, there are far more lucrative and interesting ways for us to invest our money, right? We can buy assets like collections, real estate, structures. Probably can't afford any of that considering I can't afford shoes. <laughs> we can buy companies like Ikeo and Starbucks, but those are in the trillions, a little far off from that. We can buy countries. Oh my god, we can buy the entire world. I love that. <laughs> so we could start off by buying small poor countries and then work our way up to owning the entire planet. That is amazing. I really like that. I don't know what can power is. Oh, that's what you spend real world money on. Listen, everybody else can put money in the poop pot because he's a beggar, but I'm not going to, okay? I'm the mastermind behind this operation. I'm not gonna fall for that. Got a claw machine. Okay, so we're just gonna gamble and win ourselves beggars from the last game by the looks of it. We have dance skins. Interesting. So we can make them have different dances. All right, what's one penny village? Can I buy a village for a penny? Oh, what the hell? There's so much stuff here. We can go fishing in rivers. There's a movie cinema, an internet cafe, a bank, a library to sleep in, a coffee shop, a shopping mall, a convenience store, Lucky Cans room. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like gambling, which is probably a good place to start. <laughs> Will you enter the Lucky Cans room? Sure, why not? Lucky Cans room. Boxer, swoosh, swoosh, this is not the sound of my mouth. All right. <laughs> what? Hi. 
Oh, boss beggar, are you doing well? Yeah, you're training hard, huh? Yeah, there's a match soon, so I don't have time to relax. We have to win this time. Who's your opponent? Well, it's a hedgehog. What? A hedgehog? You're gonna fight Sonic? Yeah, people don't come to the boxing matches, so I should do this. You're gonna fight an animal because it's all that people want to watch. Okay, how can you beat a hedgehog? I'll break all the hedgehog thorns with my punch. Sounds like a strategy. Not a good one, but it is a strategy. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna break it, but you're gonna get pricked by a thorn. Don't say that! What an ominous sign! Get away from me! Shoo! Shoo! Uh, anyway, I'm leaving! Swoosh! Swoosh! One, two, one, two. Is it gonna be alright? I can hope for fluke, but sometimes... Oh, I can bet on who's gonna win. I think? Or did that have nothing to do with anything? We may have just encountered a crazy person, and now we can bet on lucky cans. I can buy a lucky can for $10,000, and then open a certain amount of money inside? We don't really know, so it has nothing to do with boxing? <laughs> Who the hell was that? Well, I obviously don't have anywhere close to $10,000, and if I did, you better believe that I wouldn't be gambling on a mystery can of money and or preservatives or hedgehog boxing. Still not entirely sure what we just encountered. I would be spending it to expand my hobo empire, right? We need exactly $10,000 to get the jobless tracksuit guy, and we're getting real close, okay? Our power begging is working, and what exactly is this meter? Okay, it was the rainbow meter. We've now activated the Mario star. Should we, we should keep clicking, right? We're not gonna stop. We'll hire that guy in a second. We're gonna go through our 1.2 times multiplier first. $10,000 in the poop pot isn't too bad for day one. I gotta say, I really feel like we're succeeding here. <laughs> These stupid kids are still freaking me out though. Are they kids? I don't think they are. It's because they're crouched all funny. It's hard to tell, but they might just be random adults. Okay, we're hiring you. Boss beggar, what are you doing here? <laughs> yes, I'm begging with the dance for these kids meals. Okay, so there are kids and we're trying to get them meals. That makes sense and stop them from banging behind dumpsters and stuff like that. You, you, you shouldn't do that. What? I mean, that's great. I, I'd like to help, but I'm thinking it's such a bother. Uh, why is my body gonna do it by itself? Uh -huh. What? So just to be clear, he doesn't want to help the kids, but his body is forcing him to against his will? <laughs> Don't you just hate that when your body is like, you know what, we're gonna go twerk on that wall and finger gun for money and you better believe we're getting the Happy Meals out of it. Now setting aside this man's sudden case of disembodied charity, what you need to remember here is that the empire has been started. Okay, we now have passive income. $10 per second is nothing to shake a stick at. Okay, so he's gonna keep slob squatting and earning us a fortune as we go to the convenience store? I don't really know why, but I'm kinda curious what they've got here. They've got kimbap, ramen, and hot bar. I only know what one of those three things are. They all cost a thousand dollars. What shall I eat today? We're gonna go with the one thing I do know, ramen. How about that? You obtain an item to raise the point and check at the house. What point? What house? <laughs> I don't know what anything means in this. Okay, fine. Yes, I, I will check at the house. Oh yeah, slurping, ha, huh? it's hot. There's nothing more to do. All right then. The plan now is for us to beg as hard and as fast as we can to earn as much money as possible so that we can reinvest it into this jobless person. Right, for another $10,000, we can make it so that he goes from $10 a second to $30 a second. That is quite significant. That is a much bigger difference than the $1 per click extra I would get for upgrading Beggar Boss. So we can keep doing that and get him to level 10, and then we can unlock the next random recruits. I still don't understand the rainbows. And what house? I still don't know what house. Do, do I buy a house? Should we go try to buy a house? Like, are there houses under assets? There's real estate. I can buy an apartment for $200 million. I also feel the need to point out that that is not an apartment building. Okay, that is an efficiency apartment. One apartment. 
<laughs> Two further down, you have a large apartment, which is the building for a billion. So probably want to save up for that, right? I feel like there's a lot more than five apartments in that apartment building. It seems like a bit of a ripoff. Still don't know where my house is, though. Is it in One Penny Village? Do I have a house here somewhere? It doesn't look like it. I don't know what this is. It's cut off. Something meal lion one? Seems dangerous. Money is scarce. Sure is. Oh, it might be like a, a food bank or, or like a, a, a place to give stuff away. Maybe. Yeah, we'll take all the charity we can get. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we're just going to have to keep upgrading you until we can recruit someone else. I wish there was some kind of like, visual representation of our improvement. If I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars on Boss Beggar to improve him, what do we get out of that? He's still not wearing shoes. We should have like a, a diamond encrusted gold plated poop pot for that much money. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. The part timer has taken a whole lot of cash. He's now level seven, but he hasn't learned any new dance moves. I could have bought an entire street for this much money. I once had a lot of friends and dreams. Dude, you make $450 a second doing this. I don't think he realizes how much money that is. That's like $4 billion a year. You should have friends. You should have friends spinning on your D 24 seven. And you're level 10 now, which means we have unlocked Job Seeker. Okay. Hi, Job Seeker. What is this ridiculous scene? I'm dancing. Do you want to dance with me? I am frustrated because I couldn't get a job, but this stupid thing, I was just thinking I didn't want to. Why is it that I am so excited? Again, I'm starting to think that Boss Beggar is some kind of telepath. He seems to be forcing people to beg against their will. <laughs> they don't want to do this. You see what I mean? Actually, I wanted to get a job. He doesn't want to do this. He's got rock and dance moves, but he's just sitting there in torture like, Somebody help! I don't mean donate! Get me out of here! Boss Beggar Xavier here with his poop pot is controlling our mind and investing tens of thousands of dollars into improving us. $700 a second. Alright, now we're getting places. Uh, I guess we should go back to One Penny Village, right? There's gotta be something of interest in here. Why don't we go to the shopping mall? Yeah, we could buy some shoes. That'd be interesting. What am I going to buy today? I'll go to the clothing store. Or not. Yeah, apparently a wife beater costs a hundred billion dollars. I thought it was like a redneck thing. Do rednecks have hundreds of billions of dollars? Am I just missing out on something here? So even if we have over a million dollars, we still are poor. We should be begging. A million dollars in that poop pot is nothing at all. But I think I've discovered a bit of an imbalancing in the game. You know, I thought Boss Beggar's upgrades, they're not all that significant, but they kind of are. We're getting $2.5,000 every time we beg and $850 a second, but his upgrades are so cheap, right? I can upgrade him dozens of times and then we're getting $4,000 a click. And then by the time I'm done saying the sentence, we're back up to like half a million dollars. It's insane! The ramp up is just so significant. You learned jackpot skill. What? What does that mean? Jackpot skill. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, do I click? Do what just happened? We get struck by lightning and then a lot of numbers fell on us. I don't understand. This game is, like I said, janky and hilarious. I probably should have thrown in confusing. That sudden windfall of numbers seems to have made it very easy for us to upgrade Job Seeker because now we've unlocked Know-It-All Examinee. Okay, you only cost $100,000. I, I can scrape that out of the bottom of the old poop pot. What do you got for me? Know-It-All Examinee. Dancing is a rhythmic movement of the limbs and body keeping to the rhythm or being excited. All right. Hi, Examinee. Would you like to dance with me? Would you like to dance with me? Subtle. Hut. Hut? Hut? There's no time to be part of such a stupid act. My thoughts are saying, 
Why is my legs shaking by itself? I can't help it. My instincts are telling me to dance. Uh, I will just get together for once. Unbelievable. So we are some kind of evil hobo Charles Xavier that forces passers-by to become hobos. <laughs> This is amazing! This isn't beggar's life, this is beggar torture! Well, now that all our lovely recruits are earning us $3.4,000 per second, we're gonna go fishing like the good CEO we are. I don't really want to read a dictionary of fish, and I don't have any fish to make dishes, so I shall go fishing. River fishing. Touch the screen to lower the fishing broad. Catch fish as rare as possible. P.S. Hooked fish is store when game over. If cook good dish with fish, then get one golden mana. I swear, I I'm reading like I'm illiterate, but it's because this isn't reading. It it's just word diarrhea. <laughs> Let's go fishing. Oh, I've only got a minute. Okay, so we will uh, lower you. Okay. We want the rarest one as possible. I'm guessing that the horse is rare. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, nice. Very good, you look kind of rare. Why don't you come with me as well? In all reality, I should just grab whatever I can. Yeah, we got a time limit, not a fish limit. Get you. Red ones don't look particularly rare. We get you guys anyway. Something else coming by. Aw, oh, so close. <laughs> yeah, this is totally how you fish. We want a jellyfish. It's got fish in the name. It should count. Get you out of the way so that we can get you easily enough. Is this a game? Does it feel like I'm playing a game? <laughs> this is about as janky as I would have expected. Stupid red fish. Oh, it's a big one, he says. I'm, I'm sure it is. How do we get that happy looking angel looking fish down? No, it went right through the expensive one. Are you kidding me? Oh, really? So... What was the rarest? It was the seahorse, then the jellyfish, then the crab. Okay. So, what do I do with them? We cook them? I'm gonna cook them. <laughs> what can I cook? Uh, if you cook, you get one golden mana. Okay. Oh, I need all of these to cook. What kind of weird fish salad am I making? There's a shortage of recipe ingredient. <laughs> yeah, I gathered that much. You need me to empty out the entire sea and I can't go fishing again because I gotta come back tomorrow. <laughs> Damn it. I'm really sorry about this, guys. I tried to make us a lovely meal. It didn't work out. If you want something to eat, you can go to the convenience store and listen to the story of a guy who wants to fight a hedgehog, I guess. Oh, oh no, wait, you can't actually leave because you're under my mental control. Tough titties. Let's just upgrade you to the point where we unlock the dreamy worker for half a million dollars, which we should be able to get quickly enough. There we go. Dreamy worker. Hey, what are you guys doing? As you can see, I'm dancing. <laughs> Ignore all these other people in the background. So why are you dancing? I will buy these children a warm meal with the money I danced. <laughs> oh, that's great. I have to work. So now I'm going to go, but the desired dance is rising. I, I, I can't. I'll be late today. And you're now one of us. <laughs> All of their dance moves are fabulous. <laughs> this is really dark and twisted, though. Guys, I know we started this off with noble intentions, right? To feed the children or recruit them into being hobo sweatshop workers, but I feel the need to point out that we have $11 million. Right? We're kind of beyond buying them a meal. This is clearly a sham. I gotta know, what can we spend $11 million on? Are there any assets that we can buy? Like, what's the cheapest asset? A collection. We could buy a boss beggar stamp. For $10 million, we could buy a stamp with our face on it. Yeah, that is not arrogant at all. <laughs> if you keep it for a long time, the value will rise someday. Oh, will it now? I'm sure it will. Oh yeah, look at that. Going up by 0.04% per second, I guess. So it's already earned us like $5,000. So it is like any other asset. You buy it, you sit on it, and eventually you can sell it for more. But for now, we just kind of let it sit there and appreciate as we pour more money into our dancers. <laughs> what else have we got, Dan? Oh my God, there's so many of them. What? 
Do we have enough room in this tiny little alleyway? There has to be a critical point where you walk by so many dancing beggars that you, you can't see the forest through the trees, that kind of thing. It's just too much. Who do you give your money to? Who knows? Maybe you would give it to a student who hates going to school. Sounds reasonable enough. Oh, we got ourselves a girl. It's about time, school girl. What are you doing on the street like a country bumpkin? That's, oh, that's her. Okay, I was gonna that's not very nice of us, but yeah, okay, so she's a little bitch. Come on, do you want to dance with me? Huh? No, thanks. I'm not the one who dances on the streets. I, I, I can't wait to dance. Yay! And now you're one of us. That's such a weird thing. Like, I, I don't know if they intend it to come off that way, if it's lost in translation, but it really does seem like we're an evil sociopathic telepath. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Beggar Life 2, guys. And as expected, this is a much bigger and much stranger version of the first game, and I love it. Honestly, I could definitely see us getting to the point where we buy big assets or companies or the entire world. So if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll keep them working until then. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.